We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles to gadget reviews no, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges to a midweek meal packs app. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. Hey mate. Hey mate. On our channel, um, we often get our chefs to remote control us normals in the kitchen as we try and make quite a complex dish. This time, uh, due to popular demand, we're going to be switching it around as I control you, James. It's so you. Kale, avocado, chorizo, eggs. How do you feel about that? I feel fantastic about that. I get all the joy of cooking and none of the responsibility of making it good. Today, we're going to be making something that I historically have got very wrong. Could be anything. Brilliant. Thanks, mate. Thanks for the confidence up front. I'm going to quickly pop myself on mute as I um, explain to everybody else what we're making. There is a certain egg that Barry's very famous for not doing well. <laughs> Today, we're going to be making well, what is essentially posh avocado on avocado toast. Avocado on but, toast. But... No! Stop looking. <laughs> I'll cover the camera. That was, that was too good! But I'm going to be making mine with a cloud egg on top and it's actually inspired by something I had at a restaurant called Doc by a chef called Neil and he's actually walked me through this recipe. There is also a time limit. We have 30 minutes to make this dish. No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not even scared. Okay, James, are you ready? I am going to channel my inner Barry Taylor. I am Barry Taylor. Steady on now. Your time starts in three, two, one, go. Now, to start off with, we're going to get the kale that's in front of you and we're going to be chopping out the stems. This kale is actually is pretty good. I can, I can actually sort it rather than like strip it. This bit has to happen really quickly. Oh, no, wait a minute, James. Another thing, just remembered, preheat ovens. Uh, right. Quickly! Right, how much kale do we need? Not much, that'll do. That'll do? Drizzle over a little bit of olive oil. This is extra virgin, is that okay? Doesn't matter, just, we have no time. Get your hand in, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Now, go get yourself a baking tray, chuck it on the baking tray, keep it nice and flat, and stick it, stick it into the oven at 100 degrees. It needs 30 minutes, but we have 28, so that will have to do. Right, now can you go get a griddle pan, please, and put it on a high heat? Right, and we'll come back to that in a minute. In the meantime, let's get on with making smashed avocado. <laughs> okay, how do you make that? Don't be silly. Get an avocado. Yeah, just one. Cut it in half. But actually, I want you to cut it in half. No, not that way. The other way. Like this? No, the other way. This? That way, yeah. Roll it around. This is how I do it at home. What the hell just happened? What do I do now? Wait, did you just chop an avocado in half without the stone? How would... Yeah, I'm just strong. Wow, okay. Oh, yeah. In that shape, it's really easy now to, to take it and squeeze out the avocado. Wow, great tip. Next, ready. Give it a chop up, chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Now, do we have any lime around? Lime, uh, yes. And um, could you grate some lime into this? The zest of a lime and the juice of half. Go, 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 go. At this point, James is just making my breakfast that I have every single weekend. Um, only later, it'll get a little bit more complicated. Half a lime, yeah? Yeah. Right, I need this avocado mix to be really, really smooth. And then I actually want you to put that into a piping bag. Can we get a bit of sea salt and pepper in there, please, as well? Sea salt and pepper, yes, sir. I love this. I love the power. It feels so good. Okay, piping bag. Then leave it in the piping bag for later on. We want that. We want to basically a nice, really cool presentation later on. The good thing about the lime in this, yes, it adds a lovely bit of citrusy flavour, but also it keeps the avocado really green for longer. Right, now by this point your griddle pan should be nice and hot. Can you take a slice of sourdough and stick it in the pan, please? Nice big chunk. Yeah, good. Right, chuck it into the griddle pan. Okay, now we're going to um, go for some uh, extra side bits now. So if you wouldn't mind um, taking the chorizo. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to start basically cutting it up into rough chunks. Okay. And if you wouldn't mind going a little bit arty with the type of chunks. I don't want square, boring chunks. I want angles. How much chorizo do you want? Yeah, that'll do you. Another baking tray and then stick that in the hot oven. Do you want me to take this off? It's smoking quite a lot. Yeah, turn it. If it's done, turn it. Let's just prep some other bits and pieces. I've got lots of pea shoots and I've got some like, it's like a cressy thing. Um, 
just pick out the nice ones. That's all we need to do. We're planning for the final plating now. Where do you want me to put them? Um, just to the side. Cool, thank you. Yeah, good. Right, how's the bread looking? Is the bread done? I think it's burnt. Okay, take it off. Okay, right, James, that is the main part of the recipe done. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're underwhelmed, aren't you? Avocado on toast, mate, with some crispy kale. It's now time to step it up a little bit, James. Could you separate three eggs, please? The reason I've given ourselves quite a lot of time here is what we're about to make might not work, so we might need to make it two or three times. Okay. Cool, so yeah, you just want to keep one yolk aside for later on. Got it. The others we can use in a scrambled egg later on. Now, can you get yourself a hand whisk? Barry? Yeah? It's a bit hot in here. I can't do anything about that. You could. I need you to start whisking this on full power for about five minutes. So before you do, what we're looking for is not soft peaks, not stiff peaks, pretty much a solid rock. But don't go too far, otherwise it starts to separate. Five minutes will guarantee separation. Let's do a minute. Have I have a look an idea. At it. Why don't I put this here and you can no. tell me exactly when to stop, okay? Ready? Go. Okay, so we're, we're, we're throffing up. It's starting to look a little bit soft. I can stop there for a second. So now, could you add a pinch of salt, please? It's such a simple dish, and it all rests on this, this one thing working. Yeah, yeah, I reckon that looks pretty solid, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, stop. Right, can you go get another baking tray? So what we're looking for is in a second, you're going to wet your hands, shake off the excess, and then I want you to pick up this mix. Well, we're making cloud eggs, aren't we? Um, yes, James. Baking tray with a silicon mat, please. Right, I want you to take all of those egg whites and form that into one massive bowl. One bowl out of all of them? I've never made a cloud egg before. I'm open-minded right now. And yes, that's a, that's a ball, I think. Can you now plonk that onto your silicon mat? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. Right, what am I making you do? Could you pop that into an oven for five minutes? Yeah, for five minutes. But well, we're gonna take it out after two to add the yolk. How long do we have? We have 10 minutes left. Now, what I was hoping, if this doesn't work, mate, then I was hoping we'd have enough time to make another one in case. Before you start whisking these, would you mind just checking it on our chorizo? Yep. How's it looking? That looks done to me! Right, um, can you pour the oil now onto the bread? Flavour, 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 flavour. Right, and then put that to the side. Okay, so um, how's the um, how's the cloud egg, um, egg looking now? It's looking like this. Oh, it's time to crystallize. it. Okay, now is a good time to pop the egg in. So would you mind uh, taking the egg yolk and just nestling it into the top of the cloud? Now back into the oven for another three minutes. Okay, right, we've got six minutes left, James. What are we doing with this? How are we, well, we going to do another one in six minutes? Let's leave the buck up. Let's risk it. Let's risk it for a biscuit. We're not risking. I mean, we're not risking it. It's, it's already worked. Like we put it out of the it. way. Clear the kitchen. Clear down. Right. So now, um, while, I'm, while I'm thinking, can you go get a plate? Go get a plate. I've got to think. What's next? I want a, a black, sophisticated, artsy, pretentious plate, please. I wanted to put a little bit of like for a khaki seasoning on top, but I don't think we have any. Right. We've got five minutes, so we can spend two minutes choosing a plate. No, no, not that one. Not that one. And I chose this one for giggles. Slate, no, I want, I want slate. I want this, this is a pretentious dish. Right, let's start plating, because I can't think of anything else. Um, bread on plate. Uh, now, can you go get your avocado mix? And I want you to do uh, a circle around the, oh, for goodness sake. I want you to do a circle of avocado on top of the bread and the plate. Okay, so it's gonna go around the bread. Yeah, keep going around. Is it a circle or an oblong? Well, circle, same shape as the plate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know this is weird. Oh, it needs to be as big as the egg. I just remembered that bit. It should fit, it'll be fine. Right, so now can you put the chorizo and the kale on top of the avocado? The kale's in the oven, mate. Oh yeah, take the kale out. Kale should be done by now. Is it crispy? It looks pretty good. Yes, great, okay. How did you do this? Can you plate the chorizo on top of the avocado? Right, now kale in between. How long have we got? Uh, we've only got three and a half minutes. Oh, loads of time. Quickly, there's, okay, there's one other thing I want you to do. Mate, quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, now, cloud egg out of the oven. It's going to be looking fabulous. It worked! It worked! Yes! Leave it to the side, we'll put that on last, last second. No, you know what, no, put it on, put it on now. Put it on now, put it on now, change your mind. Put it on the plate, put it on the plate. 
It'll be, it'll be fine. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's a big egg. Right, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah, I like that, good. Okay, so now, um, James, we've got we've got two minutes left. Um, quickly, just chuck on some micro herbs. Just decorate on top of the chorizo and the kale. Right, step away from the herbs. Step away from the herbs. How long have we got? We have 90 seconds. Oh, I've got more than enough time. I want to make some furokaki seasoning. What, with 90 seconds to go? Yep. Go, right. So do we have any sesame seeds there? Yes. Right, sprinkle some on top, because we're not going to have any chance to actually blend and make it together, so it's just a nod towards furokaki and Japanese seasoning. Do we have any nori there? Yeah, we've got nori. Okay, rip it up, chuck it on top. Right, and then, then to be honest, I guess just a bit of sea salt on top, yeah? Yeah. So you're making furokaki without chilli, that's... That's bold, no. mate. That's bold. Okay. So some sea salt and then some chili flakes, I think it's a really nice idea. Oh yeah, okay, interesting. Cool, we got five, four, oh garlic powder, garlic powder! Uh, three, two, one, sprinkle it! Right, good. And we can relax, step away from the cloud egg. What have I made a chef do? Oh, I'm sorry, James. How's it going? I'm good, how are you? Mm. Yeah. yeah. What is it that you were trying to make? This is the fanciest avocado on toast you have ever seen with a cloud egg on top. <laughs> it was inspired from uh, our experience at Dog Restaurant. Ooh. I'm not sure how to read that expression. Is that positivity? Is that... Is it a bird's nest? It's a cloud egg in a ring of avocado um, with some sourdough toast and daintily added to the ring is chorizo and kale crisps. And then it's covered in deconstructed for a keki. It looks nuts. That is massive. The flavors that you've described sound incredible. Shall I eat it? Oh, did you see that? Oh, it's like a waterfall of egg yolk. Oh. Yeah. The flavours are good. The kale's good. Is it better than the cloud egg that we had a little while ago that Barry cooked? Hmm. Yeah. It's a good dish. If I'm being honest here, like I wasn't trying here to create a ultimate battle winning dish. I just wanted to bring back some of my pride again. And also the comments, everybody was asking for me to make a cloud egg with James. So this felt like the perfect opportunity. And we've done it, we've made it. But, but, but you've not made a cloud egg. Yeah, you got someone else to make it for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. true, That's, that, is, that is a good point. You did a good job. You stole a recipe and made someone else cook it. <laughs> but you did a good job. Jay, you're our judge. Um, was it a pass or a fail? Well, I mean, from what I can tell, it looks like you guys worked quite well together. Actually had a finished plated dish. The portion size was massive. You got a cloud egg to be a success. On the whole, I have to say, it's a pass from me. Ooh. Okay, didn't expect that, but I'll take it. Thank you very I much. I fully expected that. <laughs> Thank you, James. You've been, a, you've been a good sous chef there. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Was I Sue Chef? I don't know. Wow. I can't look out what this is, it is. Okay, so it's over to you guys. Should we be doing more of these? And if so, which normal should control which chef? Please tell us down in the comments and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Cheers. Well done. See you soon. Bye. Bye. See you soon. We've also built the Sorted Club where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper. And what normal should control what chef? Wait, why is that not working? <laughs> What's English? Which, which, normal? which normal should control which chef? Yeah. 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 Why did that hurt my head? <laughs>